Alright everyone, so this is John Michael and I want to um, bring your uh, attention on this grasshopper if I can focus on him. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure but maybe we are going to assist to uh, this grasshopper molt. Um, the way I can tell is uh, the fact that oops, sorry, his antenna are uh, laying on his side. Um, and I don't know, since it doesn't move a lot, uh, it seems like it might be starting uh, to molt. Um, the last time I, I actually seen a grasshopper molt, but my batteries and the uh, memory card were too weak and didn't have enough space, so I missed uh, that up. But yeah, right now we might have actually a chance to see a grasshopper molt. So we just have to be patient and wait. It won't take more than a few minutes. Oh yeah, I actually think it is molting. Uh, you can kind of see the line on the uh, middle of his body. And yeah, Basically, just going to rip off his um, the um, his back and stuff, and then just pull itself out. Oh, and by the way, um, I just see this uh, little bug uh, move again, so it's not dead. Yay! Uh, but yeah, back to the grasshopper. Maybe it is molting, or. Maybe, and this could be really funny, it is actually just uh, trying to do a big poop uh, that could be happening too. <laughs> Since the body language is pretty much the same, they are like uh, breathing heavily and then... Okay, well... Oh, maybe... Oh yeah, I think it is going to molt with the position of his legs and stuff. I'm just going to eat a carrot because I'm super hungry. Sorry for the noise. 3, 2, 1. So yeah, um, it might not be molting actually, but it is a cool close-up on this uh, grasshopper. So yeah, um, at least you have a way to uh, have a better look on him. To distinguish really what a grasshopper look. And this is a male. Um, take a close look at this. Oh, sorry. That is my... Uh, rear end um, like this one Wait, where is he Try to, uh, wait. where is he technically I'm supposed to be filming him oh yeah this one I'm going to focus on him alright so and this is the end of a male Grasshopper, sorry. Yeah, okay. So you see, it's kind of divided in two. And then, oop, where is the female? Oh. And then, this is a female with a big spike. And the spike is actually a um, norgun uh, used by the female to like um, lay its egg, a bit like the life bearers do, like the. Um, the male or female, um, no, the female, sorry, the female of the guppies. Sorry, I'm kind of tired today um, due to the camp. It's really a fun camp, by the way. Really love my experience. It's my fourth year. Um, and yeah, it's pretty fun to work with uh, kids. But yeah, um, Sorry, I'm eating another carrot, one of my lessons. Oh well. 
doesn't seem like it is going to melt. That sucks. Um, but yeah, this is a cricket. So you can kind of see the difference uh, between a grasshopper and a, oh sorry, no, not a cricket, a locust. In French though, we call them cricket, and what you in English call cricket, we call them grillon. So yeah, same thing with penguins. Um, what you consider a penguin, we French uh, call them marshaux. And then there is another bird named penguin. So the translation between the two language make uh, all the insect and animals being all messed up. <laughs> Uh, so depending on the language, you're either right or wrong. Uh, but uh, that's okay, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's one of my new uh, grass... Uh, sorry, locust. It's big, green, and beautiful. Really um, expecting a lot from him. Expecting a lot of growth. Um, Judging from the um, his little wings, kind of hard to point that out, but yeah, um, there is like a brown line on his thorax, and then there is like this uh, kind of triangular shape. Uh, this is kind of his wing. Uh, judging from that, I think uh, the next time he will molt, it will look like um, this one. So I've uh, more developed wings and then have another molt to his really final stage. Um, where did he go? He jumped. Um, oh no! Whoa! So much nice camouflage. So yeah, judging from uh, the size of his uh, wings and stuff, I think he is uh, two molt um, beyond being an, an adult. Oh, there is a really, really tiny, tiny spider somewhere around here. I uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh, oh, okay, so this is the branch from where it comes. I'm going to try to find where it is. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Um, this is like too small for the camera to focus on. Yeah, you can kind of... Oh! So close. Where is it now? Kind of hard to see. Um, yeah, that's sad. I thought uh, we were going to assist from uh, molting from this grasshopper. Uh, yeah, grasshopper. Oh. So this is a carrot I gave um, in my last video, and then, boom, I knew it. Already eating it. Wait, I'm going to focus on his head. Come on, focus. Yeah. I knew, I knew it. Grasshoppers love uh, to eat carrots. So yeah, you can really definitely see a uh, good movement of his uh, face while he is eating. They have so many uh, mouth piece. Mouth piece, sorry. Very interesting. Wait, trying to focus on him. Wait, I'm going to focus on his leg. Okay. That's pretty much the best look I can have from him. Oh yeah, he's eating and love it. Really interesting to look at it. Really love grasshoppers. Um, I think in the look of um, a, a locust is more like noble. Um, but yeah, you, you can I mean, locust seems more uh, built for beauty, and then there is grasshoppers that look like evil uh, little insect, like the villain uh, with a with a bent back 
and some really long legs and some really long antenna and really spiky legs and such. Um, if we were to build a story, I would do uh, the way that the grasshoppers are actually the evil and the locust, the the noble race, the the more beautiful race. Um, so yeah, but to be honest, I prefer grasshoppers for some reason. Um, I don't know. I I just really like uh, the evils in the movies. I'm I tend to actually be on the side of. Uh, evils in movies. I really, I really think a good story need a good evil. So just looking at the grasshoppers um, gives enough imagination to create a really good evil. I think, you know, they have like so much spike and such. Really, creature of a nightmare. And then there is the locust that is like creation of God. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, but yeah, you can you can clearly see like uh, locusts. They are built like a really long line, really well developed, and everything. And then there is uh, this thing here that is like this is the noise of a like, grasshoppers, you know. Um. Anyway, I don't think anybody uh, have stayed. Um, that long, so I'm just going to say bubblegum. If you uh, hear bubblegum, say it in the comment section. I will know you're a real viewer, a real one. And I'm going to give you a props. Yeah. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, sorry, the grasshopper didn't molt. But if I see some interesting things, I'm going to uh, film it. Um, it is really hot today, but um, I'm not worried for the, all the plants since, um, believe it or not, the soil is super flood. Uh, same thing for this uh, vivarium, I actually did a stupid mistake, put way too much water in this. Uh, so now I'm, I have put all my moss and such, um, so it can kind of absorb it and it is directly facing the the dying light of the day uh, since uh, my laboratory really receive only uh, the light uh, a few hours and when the sun is uh, the less strong uh, so I really don't worry for my vivarium uh, the plants get uh, enough light but it's not getting too hot in there and my aquatic containers and my my uh, dead leaf vivarium, they are more in the shade because of all this row of buckets. Yeah, but need light, boom and boom, they receive plenty enough of it uh, without damaging anything. I didn't see Medusa today, uh, that's sad, but yeah. Going to look it for and do a last video. Uh, this is the, sorry, this is the 5th of July. Oh, and by the way, yeah, the the little bug is still alive, so this is pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you real soon. Bye. Wait, trying to focus on the grasshopper. Oh, I'm sorry, by the way, I'm eating a carrot.